Have you ever wondered what goes on inside a beehive? What if I told you that one tiny bee takes on six different jobs during her short life? Well, today we are taking an incredible journey of the worker bee from the moment she hatches to the day that she becomes a forager, one of nature's most efficient multitaskers. And we're going to dive into that right now. What is going on everyone? Welcome to Bees Are Funny and today we are diving into the world of the worker bee and the different jobs she takes throughout her entire life. Now, in the last video, we went over the differences between the drone, the worker, and the queen. We also learned that the worker bee plays a huge role in the hive as they are the backbone of it, ensuring the survival and productivity of the hive through their tireless efforts. Making up 98% of the entire colony, despite their small size, they perform all the tasks needed to keep the hive running smoothly. Now, what are those tasks? Well, we'll be going back to the very beginning from the moment she is born. Starting with days one to two, the worker bee, as soon as she is born, she begins to do her jobs. Starting with polishing and cleaning the cells, doing hers first and then the others, which allows the queen to lay new eggs. She also keeps the brood warm. Now, cleaning is a very vital task because without it, the queen doesn't have any space to lay her eggs. So having a spotless environment ensures that the hive stays healthy and also productive. Next comes days three to five. This is the time where the worker bee, she becomes a nanny or a nurse in which she cares for the brood, providing the older larvae, honey and bee bread which basically is just bee pollen mixed with bee saliva and nectar. She also attends the queen bee cleaning her if needed and will cap the brood, getting them ready to be the next generation. Worker bees are diligent caretakers, giving just the right amount of food to each larvae based on stage of development. Now comes days six to 11. It is where the worker bee starts to feed the young larvae or any type of larvae, whether it be a drone or a worker, royal jelly up to the three day mark. Now larvae that is designated to be queens, she'll continue to feed them royal jelly passing the three day mark where normally they'd stop and give them bee bread and honey if they were to be a drone or a worker. She also feeds the queen royal jelly. Now, what is royal jelly? Well, royal jelly is basically honeybee secretion that comes from the glands in the hypopharynx of nurse bees, which is located in the back of their head. Now, the reason why the worker bee, she feeds the older larvae first and then the younger larvae is because from days three to five, her glands in her hypopharynx haven't been quite fully developed, so she's unable to produce a lot amount of royal jelly, and she can only give the older larvae bee bread. However, when days six to 11 come, that is her when her glands are, have been fully developed, so she is now able to feed the younger larvae and as well feed the queen. By days 12 to 17, she is now able to become a construction worker. With her wax glands been fully developed under her abdomen, now she can produce wax needed to build and repair the hive. Now, these tiny flakes of wax, they're skillfully molded to become iconic hexagonal combs, which are used for storage to store honey, pollen, and brood. Beyond building, she also steps up as an undertaker, removing any dead bees um, from the hive, keeping it clean and hygienic. Now comes days 18 to 21, where she does two crucial roles, guarding the hive and also ventilating it. As a guard bee, she stands watch at the hive entrance, carefully inspecting every single bee that enters in it, and also defends from intruders. But guarding isn't her only job. At this age, she also helps ventilate the hive by fanning her wings to create air current, regulating the temperature and humidity inside it. This is especially important to keep the brood warm, prevent overheating, and evaporate water from nectar to produce honey. Finally, at around three weeks old, the worker bee embarks on her final and most dangerous role, becoming 
a forager. She ventures out outside of the hive, collecting nectar, pollen, water, and propolis to sustain her colony. Using her key sense of smell and extraordinary memory, she visits hundreds of flowers daily. She even performs the famous waggle dance to share the location of the best foraging spots with her sisters. From cleaning, to nursing, to defending, to foraging, the worker bee's life is filled with constant work and responsibilities. Though her life is only about six weeks during the busy summer months, each task that she performs is crucial for the survival and the success of the hive. So next time you see a bee buzzing from flower to flower, remember the incredible journey she's been on and the vital role she does in our world. And without further ado, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a bit or two about the worker bee and the different roles she takes throughout her entire life from the moment she hatches till the day that she goes out foraging and produces that delicious honey. Share this video with your friends and family, leave a like and also a comment down below this video if you have any questions regarding this video or any beekeeping topics that you want me to cover. And finally, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also click on the bell so you'll be notified every single time a new video has been uploaded. My name is Malvi and this is Bees Are Funny. Till next time.